I just wonder from your perspective, do you believe the president made the right decision today? I, I believe I respect the decision he made. Uh, as of early this morning, I was still supporting the Biden-Harris team. And yes, I met him when I was a young lawyer on the Senate Judiciary Committee, and he had just been elected. His wife and daughter were uh, killed. His two sons were in a hospital. It was a tragic time for him. He was barely 30. And, and just a comment uh, on him. Uh, first of all, uh, it's, it's the end of an era. Uh, the great senators like Biden are gone, Kennedy and McCain and Dole and Baker and so on and so forth. And, and he already had left the Senate, but the fact that he will not be in the White House negotiating with the Senate makes me a bit sad. The other comment I, made, I would make is that uh, uh, in 2011, my husband died, Sidney Harmon, and, uh, in early April. And on Easter Sunday, my cell phone rang, and uh, this is what I heard. Jane, it's Joe. I'm worried about you. You okay? And I couldn't believe it. I never worked for Joe Biden, but I surely knew him. And he was vice president. And I, all I could do is stammer, Joe, it's Easter. Why, why aren't you in church? To which he responded, I already went. And I just, I, that's such a lovely memory. And he had so many lovely qualities. So let me, let me say that. He also has an agenda to complete. And let's understand he's not gone uh, until the next team is confirmed and I, uh, is elected. And uh, I think uh, this... Uh, uh, Gaza proposal that, that got a unanimous support with Russia abstaining in the Security Council is the right thing. Hopefully that'll get done soon. And I also think ongoing support for Ukraine is imperative. And most Americans and most of Congress supports that. And the people who don't are named Vance and Trump. And I think that's very important that that agenda be, be solidified and that, in my view, the Democratic team that supports continuing aid to Ukraine be elected. So who is the best to bring that agenda forward and continue that? Is it Kamala Harris, the top of the ticket? And if so, who do you think she should choose as her running mate? Well, the, the delegates have to choose that. I'm not going to the convention. I am, uh, you know, in another phase in my life. Uh, I will support the team. I certainly like her, and I've seen her do things uh, that are important. I've been to the Munich Security Conference myself uh, 23 times, three of them with her. And she has uh, foreign policy chops. She understands uh, a lot of uh, uh, what the Biden agenda was and is. And I think she will definitely want to continue that. Uh, we're fellow Californians. I knew her before she was elected as vice president. And she was a very effective uh, attorney general and prosecutor in California, which is why she was elected to the Senate. So uh, I'm, if she is the pick and she is Biden's choice, and she was just endorsed by uh, uh, Congressman Adam Schiff, who's likely to be the next uh, senator from California. Uh, I hope she will yeah. pick somebody who complements her skills. And I think, uh, again, a fresh team, and you can say that she's part of the Biden team, but she's a little younger and has uh, will be a very effective ambassador on the abortion issue, which you just mentioned, and to black and brown communities, I, I think are big assets mm -hmm. of hers, and to younger voters. Well, Jean, as we consider the outreach she could have with female voters, especially women in the suburbs on the abortion issue, it brings to bear the idea that she is a woman. We have seen a woman up against Donald Trump in a general election once before in 2016 with Hillary Clinton. We all know how that turned out. I ask you this as a woman in politics. Is America ready for a female president this time? Absolutely. America was ready for a female president the last time. Hillary narrowly lost, sadly. And I think some campaign choices that she made were responsible for that. She didn't go to the Midwest. She stayed on the coast. I don't think Kamala Harris will make those mistakes. And let's understand, almost every other uh, important country in the world has had a woman leader. It's, we're, it's way past time for, for this country to elect a woman. I felt that when, when uh, uh, Nikki Haley was running. I was really proud of the race that she ran. Uh, and... Um, I might not have supported her. I I'm probably would have supported uh, Joe Biden against her, but I, I was cheering her all the way. Jane, you mentioned before that it's up to the delegates at the DNC to decide all of this. But don't they need to go into Chicago August 19th prepared with their names? I hope so. I think th the sooner we can close this down, uh, the sooner we can unify the party. On the other hand, if we can't close it down and if we have... I, what I hope is an orderly process in Chicago, that happened in, in uh, 1968, as everyone points out, uh, then we'll, we'll do that. But this is democracy, 
in, in, in progress. And democracy is messy. And as uh, Winston Churchill, I think it was, said, it's better than any other form of government that's been tried. So here we are. Let's make the wisest choice. And I don't think this uh, election is over by a long shot. There are 120 days to go. I think the Trump fans team is very vulnerable on the issues. And I'm not an isolationist. And I support a woman's right to choose. And I don't support mass deportations. I support strong immigration policies, but not mass deportations. And yes, inflation is persistent, but it didn't start with the Biden administration. And uh, sadly, COVID fueled a lot of it. And it is tapering off. So let's see uh, what the new Democratic team says about that. Um, but I'm excited to support a strong team against Trump fans.